How's my hair looking? Well, it's already caught, it's already recording. Okay, hello and welcome to Mrs. E's Science Videos. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the nervous system allows us to respond to the environment. So obviously, we need to start with a stimulus. In this example, the stimulus is going to be light from the sun. So we have light from the sun. And obviously in the human body, or any animal's body, the way we detect light is with receptors in our eyes. So here, we have receptors. Now the light reaches the receptors and stimulates them. And that initiates an electrical impulse which is carried by neurons. So this neuron here is called the sensory neuron because it's detected to a sense organ. That is a sensory neuron connected to a sensory organ, which is the eye. And we have an electrical impulse traveling this way. Now the next step is it's gonna reach our central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. So I'm gonna draw a very simple diagram of the brain and spinal cord. That is our brain and spinal cord. Once it reaches it, it um, transmits that impulse into the brain and spinal cord. So here, we have another neuron, and this neuron is called a relay neuron. So the impulse is traveling that way, and this is a relay neuron. So you can kind of think of that as carrying the baton between the sensory neuron and the next neuron. So in the brain, we will make a decision. So our brain allows us to make a decision about what we're going to do next. So let's say in this example, I'm going to decide to put sunglasses on. Now obviously we need a way of allowing that response to occur. So we need another neuron. Now this is called the motor neuron. So here, again, this is again another electrical impulse, and this is called the motor neuron. Now an easy way to remember that is that motor actually means movement. So motor movement it allows us to bring about a movement. And this electrical impulse will then reach a muscle, which I'll draw as simple lines like so, or a gland. So these are called effectors. And they're called effectors because they actually bring about the effect, which is what we want to do in response to our stimulus. So finally, the next stage will be our response. And let's just say in this example, I want to put on sunglasses to protect my eyes. That would be my response. And that, in a nutshell, is how we respond to the environment. Now obviously, there are many different examples of this, but they will always follow this exact pattern that I'll summarize now. Stimulus, detected by a receptor, carries the impulse uh, by an electrical impulse, to the brain and spinal cord, or the central nervous system, brain and spinal cord. Within there, it gets coordinated by the relay neuron, and then transmitted to the motor neuron, which means movement, to a muscle or gland, which brings about a, an effect. The muscle will allow us to move, a gland will release hormones. Now that is how we coordinate a response. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share, um, and also like me on Twitter at Rushliff Bio. Thank you very much.